Hey everyone, this is Heather here from Bud and Blossom. I'm a cannabis coach and my whole goal is to talk about cannabis wellness in a way that connects with you and helps you start to think about how cannabis might be something really beneficial to layer into your life. Cannabis is something that really helped me a few years ago when I needed it and continues to keep me resilient and strengthened. Cannabis is something that can really help us step through challenging or just difficult situations. I know this because I've lived it. If you're familiar with me and my story, cannabis helped me during the most difficult of times when I was in my 20s and I was in poor health and my best friend passed away and I was just totally not loving my life, right? Through cannabis and some other lifestyle shifts, I was able to reclaim my life, my health, and ultimately my power. So today I'm just gonna share a few of the ways that I see cannabis as a positive tool in the face of challenging situations food for thought. And then what you can do is take this information and layer it into your life in a way that makes sense and is comfortable for you. Cannabis can help us find solace within ourselves. What I found is that through intentional smoking sessions where we're actually smoking alone, it's a really beautiful experience and an opportunity to touch base with who you are and connect with yourself on a much deeper level. Sometimes we can move through weeks, months, years of our life without really checking in. We're on autopilot. We, we don't get that chance to really think deeply and audit, where are we going? Am I on the right path even in the first place? So cannabis kind of creates this intentional moment with oneself and we can take solace in ourself, meaning that there's a bit of self-soothing that we're able to do when we're in that inebriated state. When I was really going through that challenging time before I incorporated cannabis into my life, I think it had been a few months since I had laughed. But once I started to consume cannabis and spend time with myself, I would find myself just laughing and even crying, being like overcome with emotion about how special I am and how powerful I am. So I want that for you. That's something you can give a shot and see if you can find that internal solace and that internal power. Another way that cannabis helps us is by lessening pain. So we know that life has pain in it. We've really seen that these last couple of years, right? And this might be physical pain. Any individual might be experiencing physical pain but there's also just pain in society right now. And so one of the things that I appreciate the most about cannabis is that it can actually help us to deal with pain in a number of different ways. When we think about mental pain, it can feel really prickly. Or if you've ever been deep in grief or depression, it feels prickly, it feels all encompassing. It feels like it's coming at you, something's attacking you. Cannabis allows you to let a little bit of that prickly feeling go. And as crazy as it sounds, cannabis can actually help us find gratitude, even in the most difficult moments. Cannabis has this way of making everything seem a little bit more beautiful, a little brighter, food tastes a little better. It's kind of like some green colored glasses that you put on, right? But with this, when you're kind of seeing the world from that more enhanced and beautiful space, it's really easy to get grateful. Um, oftentimes I will imbibe and just sit there and think to myself, I'm so grateful for my work. I'm so grateful for my husband. I'm so grateful for my cat. I really love my parents and my sister. And I just kind of run through that list. Cannabis also allows us to give ourselves a little bit of grace. This is something that we all need these days because shame is not a healthy emotion to really hold on to. Shame is natural, not shaming anybody who's experienced shame, but we know that if we sit with shame too long, that stress and that tension builds and it can actually lead to some health disruption. So really important to be able to forgive ourselves and give ourselves a little bit of grace. Even if we haven't done everything perfectly in the past, even if we've made mistakes, guess what? That's normal. That's part of being a human. You deserve to brush yourself off and move forward again. And I found that cannabis can help us just let go and give ourselves a little grace, even laugh at ourselves a little bit. Okay, and cannabis can actually help us process anxiety, grief, and stress. 
When we look at the brain, we can back this up scientifically as well. Cannabinoid receptors actually permeate the brain, including the amygdala, parts of the brain that are activated when we're stressed and anxious and not feeling well. Cannabis can come in there, the cannabinoids connect to the cannabinoid receptors and basically helps the brain talk to the rest of the body better, easing stress and moving us back to balance once again. And anecdotally, I've experienced this so much myself, but talk to anybody else who uses cannabis for stress, anxiety, or grief, and they'll let you know it really can move the needle. Anxiety is probably the primary reason that I use cannabis on a day-to-day -day basis. I've always run anxious, but I found that through the right regimen for me, daily CBD intake, the occasional THC enhanced smoke, so many different methods that I layer into my life, I'm able to get my anxiety down to what feels like a more healthy, normal baseline and approach the world with more curiosity and excitement. Grief is also something that cannabis can really help with. And so what I'm going to do is provide a link down below that links out to one of my blog posts in which I've explored this further. But several years ago, I went through substantial grief after losing a friend and cannabis was one of the things that brought me back. And I am not the only person who's experienced this. I include some other examples in that post as well. But just know if you are going through a challenging time, cannabis might be able to help definitely something that needs to be used responsibly. Wouldn't advocate leaning into cannabis too hard. You don't necessarily want to escape the current moment, but it's about lessening the pain and looking at the situation through a new frame and finding acceptance and letting that self-love really emanate from you as well. All of that's gonna help you step through the grief. And if you'd like a coach that can help you navigate that journey, please be in touch. I'd be honored to step with you. Let's get you some cannabis to help you feel better and I'll be your professional friend along the way. Finally, I think cannabis is a really wonderful way to celebrate life. There's a lot of busyness and a lot of activity that a lot of us are doing day in, day out. It can kind of feel like a blur. And sometimes we forget to celebrate just the fact that we're here and we're alive. But cannabis helps us connect to that a little bit better. It, it tells you, hey, you're alive and look at you. Your mind is running and it's beautiful and you've got all these expansive ideas. Your body, you can feel it better. It's it's a beautiful machine. I, it's hard to put into words. If you felt that enhancement that can come from cannabis, then you probably know what I'm talking about. But really, it's just a great way to celebrate the day. And I really like to use cannabis as a reward after a hard day's work um, to celebrate all that I put in. And believe it or not, I got the chance to talk to Tommy Chong earlier this year, and he said the same thing. He uses cannabis as a reward. So if he gets some writing done or does a podcast recording or something like that, he moves the needle forward in his business and his career, then he will celebrate that reward himself with cannabis. Just another way to think about it. And there's definitely nothing better than a hard earned joint. You know, these are, these are really broad concepts. And today I'm speaking from personal experience also based on conversations I've had with others, but know that everybody has a different relationship with cannabis. What I would recommend is if you're new in this journey, try a little bit and see how it works for you. Always go low and slow. So you're just gonna take a little bit that first couple of days, see how your body reacts before you ramp up that dose. But from there, once you start to feel the effects of the cannabis, particularly if you are using something that is rich in THC, which is the part of the plant that's gonna bring about that euphoric feeling, that mind expansion. I'm doing this to say that your brain kind of goes like this when you are smoking THC. These are those points where you, you really get to kind of work deeper with yourself re-meet yourself, celebrate yourself, and honor yourself. A really great way to kind of facilitate this exploration is to journal. Writing down your thoughts is always a great way to process them out. And I just know that you're gonna have some really beautiful and insightful thoughts once you layer a little bit of cannabis into that experience as well. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed this video or if this resonated with you, I'd love to hear from you. Please drop a comment below or come over to my website and say hello. My website is buttonblossomcoaching.com. And again, I'm a cannabis coach. So if you would like some guidance as you step forward in your life and you want to layer in some cannabis, but you also just want a new and more positive wellness plan, I'm here to help. 
cannabis helped me transform my life and I really am excited about sharing that with you as well. So be in touch. I've got coaching programs and would be happy to share what I know to get you moving in the right direction. All right. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.